All right, guys, it's Karen, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I'm really glad you clicked on this video. This is my declutter kind of thing. I've been going through lots of stuff, redoing a lot of areas in my home, and I need your help because I'm not quite sure what to keep and what not to keep, and whether or not I should do a tutorial on the Cookies and Dream palette. Look, I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt. I didn't even do a video on this um, from last year. <laughs> I think I used it once and that was it. All right, I've got Juvia's The Berries here and this was gorgeous. I absolutely loved it. And these are my colors. So I'm thinking I might keep this one and put that over here. Then I've got Real Her Dreams So Big. And I mean, these are pretty. But I think I used it once for a review for you guys. You know, that was it. Here, I'll swatch a few. Those are really buttery. I may end up giving them to my gems too. Who knows? I just have so many palettes with those colors. I'm definitely giving this one away. This was $8 on the Sephora sale last summer. I think I used some of these once. It's an eyeshadow palette. Look how big the pans are. Is it an, it's an eyeshadow palette, right? Yeah. And I mean, they're gorgeous. This one, oh, yeah, look, beautiful. But I've got so many palettes, I have to declutter. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one over there. Um, this was my first time trying Makeup Geek. I really like these cases. They are definitely made well. But this is the old, before the rebrand. And these colors are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Um, but I don't use it very often. I use it like once or twice. I don't even think I ever touched these colors here. But yeah, I didn't even take the thing off the mirror. So I don't know if I should keep it or not because I just don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm going to put that in the no pile because I haven't used it in a while. All right. Ah, oh, we've got All Things Equinox by ColourPop. I'm just starting to build a ColourPop collection. Oh, this is a nice palette. I like her. I mean, this color was just in, oh, I see this color all the time, taupe, but I love it. Let me, let me do a shimmer for you guys. Oh, that feels so creamy. Here, I'll do a few swatches. It's so hard decluttering, guys. Look at that. Woo! Okay, I think I got this in fashion stuff maybe did I use it I don't even know if I use it ditto cosmetics I think I did some swatches with this palette <clears throat> I can't get it out of the casing here we go let me see oh no I never I don't think I ever used nope I think I did do swatches uh actually they don't look like they've ever been really touched it's possible I did swatches with this but again, I'm not gonna use it. I mean, the only colors I really like in here and could use are this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Maybe that one if I'm tan and maybe the glitter. But I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to her. Let's say goodbye. Athenia by Ditto Cosmetics. I don't think she needs the plastic. Let's put her over here. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we have Miss Ofra. I do like Ofra products. This here, though, the one, some, one of these colors did not blend out well, and I think it was this one here. Um, the green is stunning, but we see that we see these colors in a lot of palettes. This one's a little bit different. But you have your blush and your bronzer, and of course your highlight, and their highlights are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. <sighs> you can even go for the white the pink or do it all together. That's the one thing I like about these multicolors here. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I don't, I don't use her. So I think we're gonna have to get rid of her. Say goodbye to Ofra. Okay, we have Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus. It's a blush palette. Look at these colors. Ooh, that's a blush. 
Hmm, we might have to revisit this one. They feel really hard. Why do they feel so hard? Let's let's swatch since we did it. And guys, these may not be quality swatches here. I'm just like really going through everything. So I'm not going to be like making sure my swatches are uh, perfect. I don't know if I should keep her in that or not. I am going to put her in the I have no idea pile. Yeah, I've got lots of piles down here now. Okay, so Grace and Stella face masks. I know we got these and they have value was like $160. And I, I don't think I've opened it. <laughs> wow, Karen, use more of your stuff. No, I haven't opened it because the stuff's on here. So these are um sheet masks, if I remember correctly. And I guess I'm going to have to start using these. I don't know if I should do a mask Monday. I used to, but now so many people do them. So let me know if you want to see that. Okay, I've got Huda Beauty. I love this. It's my gem. Okay, here she is. She's a pretty beautiful palette. I just, I don't, I don't use them. <laughs> Look at that. And right now greens are trending like never before. So she's pretty freaking cute. I remember I sent a brown one to, I think it was Missy. A long time ago when I got Huda and um, Ipsy. I think I sent it to her. All right, we're going to put that in my keep pile for now. This one here was the Charmed palette. I did a look with it because you guys wanted me to, but I literally only used her once. There are some stunning colors in here. For sure. Especially, I mean, really? Oh my gosh. Now I'm like, but I don't think the colors, I think they faded kind of quickly. Look at that. That's insane. Oh, makes it very difficult to get rid of. All right, I'm going to put her in the nope pile because if I continue to keep all of these, things are just going to get messy again. But look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, Karen. <laughs> okay. I've never gotten into BH Cosmetics. I don't know why. I just can't. <laughs> I don't know if it's the small pans that I don't like or what. But this is Take Me Back to Brazil, the Rio edition, 35 color. And I think I swatched a few of these over here, but that was it. I mean, I know that people like this palette. And I'll probably end up giving it to someone, to be honest with you. But I just didn't even touch more than half the palette. I don't know. I just don't know. To me, it was eh, one of those things I, I just couldn't hop on that train, the BH Cosmetics train. Okay. I've got tons of samples still. Oh, wow. I didn't even know I had Bare Minerals, Bare Pro samples. Let me put this with my samples. Okay. She's got Solacist by ColourPop. Literally. I think I dabbled into her. I don't even know if I did a look with her. Might have just been, oh yeah, no, I think I did. But I didn't even touch some of these colors. Now they're, and they're, look, it's like the same though. You know, you're getting these, all these shimmers that are so similar. And me being, you know, a makeup artist and having a YouTube channel, it's like, You can't keep them all, you know? You're not going to use it all. There's just no way. could do my makeup five times a day and still not use everything I have. But I am going to keep her for now. Okay. The Violets by Juvia. Y'all know what my favorite color is. Oh, my gosh. Do you see this? I can't get rid of her. There's just no way. <laughs> I don't think that's happened. I don't even think I touched this color. <gasps> do you see it? I can't. Ah! Yeah, I think I would be insane to get rid of this. And it's so affordable. Look. Wow. Karen, you have to say no to some of them. Guys, I need your help, man. <laughs> help me out, please. All right. Who has never tried Norvina? Because I have so many ABH palettes. 
And I have all of Norvina's, the five volumes, the big palette. So it's not like I need this one. And I don't even think I touch. I think I touched like these two colors and that was it. So I hate to see her go away, but I'm sure somebody will want her. All right. So what is this? Apparently nothing is in that box. More samples. Oh, okay. Let me put these over here. Elf. What do I have by Elf? blushes. I did get some use out of this, but I've got so many, so many. Let's see. That's really the big issue is I have so many. Oh, those are nice. That one. Oh, you know what? This palette's been sitting a while, so I would have to probably use tape and refresh it that way. Do you guys know how to do that? Okay. So let's take this palette and we're going to take a piece of tape. And we're going to put it over, which one should we put it over? Put it over this one. And press it down. See how the first layer is coming up. Okay. Oh my gosh, now it's creamy. Woo! But that's how you do it. Still has to be built a little bit, but it's super creamy. But yeah, that will definitely help refresh your powders. Remember I was saying they're hard? It's not hard now. Woo! All right, Karen, stop. You can't keep it. <laughs> you can't keep her. All right, let's see what else we got here. Sunday brunch. Ibby Beauty. I think, I'm pretty sure most of these I just did a look with for you guys because they came in subscription boxes. So these are the palettes I'll probably never use again. Here she is. Oh, I didn't see, look, I only used a few. Wow, but she's pretty. Oh, FOMO. This is what I'm gonna have after I give away this palette. <laughs> Major FOMO. I'm just going to swatch the ones I've already used. Look at that. That's stunning. Oh my gosh. Dessert first. Oh. All right, Karen, put her away. Put her in the pile that you can't keep because you just can't. Have a million palettes. I'll end up like Stacy. have 700 and some odd palettes, which isn't a bad thing if you have the room, but oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness but you do have to just, okay. So this was a palette. I think that nobody claimed the deep smoky Morphe. It's brand new. I'm going to put that aside. It's either that or I sent them something else. And okay. Zoeva Pure Valor Lips. This is just not my color. It's just never going to be my color. <laughs> Look at how dark and beautiful though. Oh my goodness on somebody that would look pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, it's actually darker in person than in what it's showing right here. All right, so she's gone. <laughs> Next, this I literally used once. I don't know if anyone wants to try it. Mm. She's dusty. I had work done in my house recently. That's why I've been dusting and going crazy. All right, this is Foxy Charms palette. I wasn't crazy about her. There are colors in here I never even touched. Um, I can't see myself using her, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna put her away. Then we've got ColourPop Soul. All right. I used this a couple times. Ooh, she's popping out. But literally haven't touched it since 2019. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's been that long. <gasps> Still creamy. Oh, yeah. But you're seeing these colors like everywhere, you know? And since I am just starting to build up a ColourPop collection, I don't think I'll get rid of her just yet. I don't think I could do it. I'm really starting to like ColourPop and I was so much into Jeffree Star that and I'm not even really getting all his stuff anymore. I've, I've missed a few launches. Ace Beauty Nostalgia. 
Whew. Look at that. That's insane pigment, but I can't keep her. And I only used one, two, three, four shades, five shades. But yeah, swatch the ones I used. Look at that. That's insane. Swatch a matte. Wow. Yep, that's insane. If you have dark skin, oh my gosh. These colors are definitely, definitely for you. I don't know what she is, Tristy, but I'm about to find out. Oh, it looks like a, a highlight. Yep. Be good for like travel. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. Very pretty. I don't know if I should keep her though. We'll put her in the I don't know pile. Oh, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Elf. Pretty sure this is like a bronzing palette. Yeah. Highlight and bronzer or what? Let me see. Or is it blush? Total face palette. She's dirty. Let's clean her. No makeup palette deserves to not be clean. Although now I'm making it worse. I have to use a dry cloth. All right. Here she is. I don't use her. Ooh, she still feels creamy. Oh my gosh, that shade's beautiful. Karen, you might need to stop swatching. Ooh, I can't, I'm gonna have to get rid of her. Gotta do it. Gotta make room. All right, those swatches really didn't come out because, I don't know. Okay, Morphe. This might be, yes, this is an eyeshadow palette. I dipped into a few times, but, but it's heavy. I like the quality of these. This is the 15B. Um, I haven't used her in a long time. Probably when I first got her. And that's it. Brunch Babe 15B. So I'm going to have to get rid of her. Got to do it. Gotta do it. All right, Sola look. They do come out with some cute stuff. I do remember 90210. I was a teenager in the 90s. These are cute, pretty. Do I see myself using it? No, because I have 8,000 other palettes. So we'll go ahead and, ooh, look, summer colors. Okay, put her away. All right, can't do it. Gotta put her away. <clears throat> so, I've got quite a few palettes in my get rid of right, right now. And what is this? This is Mary Kay's Oil Mattifier. This is probably... This is to soak up oil on the skin. smells like salicylic acid but I think she's been sitting around too long so we're gonna have to say goodbye to her I used to love that product though all right this as you can see not my color um what is this bite beauty I don't think I touched it did I touch it I don't know Ooh. Gorgeous for someone that has is tan. Yeah, I totally can't wear her, but she's really pretty. So we're gonna put her in that pile. Now, the NYX or NYX Off Tropic. I wasn't really impressed with this palette. <clears throat> Let's do some swatches real quick. Ooh. Okay, gorgeous, love it. Um, I've got so many others. There is pretty colors in there, but I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to her. Okay, I'm scared because if I open this, I may not wanna get rid of it. Jeffree Star is 24 karat. <clears throat> I didn't use this one as much as what I did other ones. Um, I don't even think, I know I used this color here. Wow. 
Am I insane to get rid of this? Am I? Probably. Look at that. I mean, his products are amazing. I'm just not on the Jeffree Star train these days. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to her. Let me know if you would get rid of her or not. Curious. Okay, what do I got left in here? Tweezers and the little lash applicator and Charlotte Tilbury samples. I'm collecting a bunch of samples. All right, so let's put back the palettes that, oh wait, there's something else in here. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? Lip liner and ColourPop cream gel liner. Is that a lip liner or is this something else? Jubilee. No, it says gel liner, so I'm guessing this would be eyeliner. All right. What is this one? Natasha Denona. I didn't use her. She's pretty. But I don't know if I'll use her. Should I keep her around for a little while? Because it's ND. Hmm. All right. I'll keep these two for a little while. We'll see. All right. So, Jeffree Star got to go off. Tropic by NYX, Solo Look, Kelly and Dylan, Morphe, Ace Beauty, Beauty, the Hello Charmer palette, Sunday Brunch, the Elf, I think this is the blushes, the Elf, Powders, the Elf Mint, the Real Her Dreams So Big, the Norvina Nine Pan Palette, Take Me Back to Brazil, Be Charmed, I'm staying here. Oh my goodness, these plastic things drive me insane. Miss Ofra, Athena, kind of earthy colors, I guess. Makeup Geek, Sephora, <sighs> Seraphine Botanicals, we weren't sure about, but we're gonna do it. Definitely gonna put Bite Beauty in there and this highlighter stick. Let's see what else. Oh, I've got Dose of Colors Concealer. This might even be my shade. Is this my shade? She's been sitting for a bit, but no, I never used her. I don't know if she's gonna be good or not. Let's open her up and see. Okay. This is one that dries down fast. That's full coverage. Hmm, we'll have to keep her. Yes, liking that. Okay, some of these you may have previous seen. Oh yeah, that Zoe, Zoeva, whatever we're putting in here too. Um, but because I stopped doing, I think, I, did I show you this? This, I did show you that one, the beauty crop. Um, I had to stop doing declutters because things were getting crazy in my house. So the Becca Hydra Mist. Oh man, I'm kind of wanting to keep her now. Ugh, this is not what was supposed to happen. Another Ace Beauty palette. It's the bronzer. Oh man, that's looking good too. <laughs> Crap. All right. Oh yeah, I have a Jaclyn Hill highlight in here. This is one that exposure, it's really good for darker skin tones. Like she's super pretty. I literally just swatched her and never used her. Look at that, that's insane. That is insane. 
and she's expensive so I'll probably give it to one of my gems I bought so much Jacqueline stuff and there's so much I can't use <laughs> it sucks all right so we're gonna put her in here the hell with it we're gonna put these two patterns in there too all right I've got I don't even know what this is or whatever little probably got it in ipsy i think i touched this one color same colors like most of these palettes have these colors so it's like mm. all right then we've got a tart blush that i used to use a lot feisty it's time to say goodbye to her i think this is a hank and henry drip liner it's not something i'll use it's too bright for me I've got Jeffree Star, banana powder. Let me see. This I just got not too long ago. The About Face eye paint. I don't like it. It's a pretty color. Maybe I should keep her. I don't know. I just... Mm hmm... I don't know now. I probably won't use wet shadows though. So no, no, we're not gonna keep her. Okay, I've got <laughs> Natasha Denon Glow All Over. This has like a gray tint to it. Okay. Like, I don't know how to explain it. All right, so maybe it's not gray. I think it was gray on me. Nope, it's just bronze. All right. I'm sure somebody will like it. I will not use it. I don't really put stuff on my body to glow. It's very rare that I do that. Iconic Linen Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. It has been sitting here. I used it when we first got it and that was it. Um, there's other palettes I would reach for. So, and these are pretty expensive too, from what I understand. All right. Item. I don't know if it's item beauty or what. Your dual ended bronzer. Bronzer. This is just something I have never used. So, she's got to go. And then we've got milk makeup and that's that highlighting stick thing. I mean, it's pretty. Can you see it? And she's nice and creamy. So, yeah, maybe I will hold on to her. All right. Getting down here. Let me see. ColourPop Super Shock Shadow 20C2. See, I'm just getting into ColourPop now. She's pretty. But I guarantee you I won't use her. <clears throat> Should I keep her? I'm going to keep her. Because I'm building ColourPop. Alright. Violet Voss. Single shadow. Definitely don't need her. Have this color in a bazillion palettes. Uh, Manicadar. What is this? High Perfecting Powder. Yeah, I think I swiped her when I first got her. I'm not going to use that. And Anastasia Beverly Hills in Parfait. This is a beautiful color. I've just had it for too long. So it's time to say goodbye to her. Oh, she smells pretty good. All right, let's move on to some more. Yeah. All right, guys, so let's see. What This is the stuff I'm getting rid of, and this is the stuff that I'm keeping. We've got the Milk Highlighter Illuminator, the Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop, the Dose of Colors Concealer, all the samples here, the Berries by Juvia's Place, the ColourPop All Things Equinox, the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions, the She's Got Solstice by ColourPop, Juvia's Place, The Violets, 
Oh, I need to use her soon for sure. And the ColourPop Soul Palette. So do you think I did pretty good? <laughs> I think I did okay. This was just in here and I'm not going to get rid of that. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And if you enjoy these videos, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. And uh, I will see you in my next decluttering video. Thanks, guys.